Hello and welcome back. So let's add a few students over here. So if I click add, so let's add a guy first. So Bob, Bob Marley. So let's say Bob at yahoo.com. This one is a guy, obviously. Let's put a password here. Add. Okay, so it took me to the wrong place. Hmm. Back to students. There is Bob Marley. So why did we go to the wrong place again? So let's go to sign up view. Uh, let's see here. Mode. If mode is equal to students. Students. It should have worked, shouldn't it? Maybe it was a refresh that it required. So if I click here, yeah, this one. Oh, the cancel works, but the redirect does not. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, not to fear. We just have to go to the um, to the students. No, the sign up controller. Right here on the redirect, we can check to see what mode it is. So let's move the mode code above, like so. That should be the first thing we do. So all I need to do is check. So um, what I can do is say redirect is equal to and say mode is equal to students uh -huh. then we'll say students else we'll say users like this okay so if the mode is equal to students question mark which is the same as saying if mode is equal to students then set redirect to students otherwise set it to users so let's just copy this and put it there instead. That should sort our problems out. So back here and let's give it another shot. So Bob Marley and we want another one. Maria. Mm. Maria Jones. Maria at yahoo.com. This one will be female. Same password, same password. Okay, so we are back to students, very good. Uh, I don't know, should we add one more? Let's add one more. This one will be uh, Jane. Jane at Yahoo dot com female password 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 add okay so we have uh, several students very cool okay very nice all right so now that we can add uh, students very well we need to be able to add classes as well so uh, now before we go here you can see that uh, the last user is the one that comes at the end, but I want it to be the other way around so that it's easier to see uh, who you've just added. Because if we leave it like this, if there are thousands of students and I add one more student, what will happen is uh, I won't be able to see the new student I've added because they'll be right at the end of it all, which is maybe the hundredth 200th student so I'll just be able to see the first one here so let's flip everything here by going to the students uh, controller and let's change the query over here so in here at the very end we're just going to say order to tell it how to order these results order by ID descending like this so order by ID descending that's it then it's going to flip these guys, boom. 
Same thing with the staff. We want the last one first. So I'm going to go to users and let's put the order at the end. If you want it in ascending order, you change this to ASC or DESC for descending. And let's refresh. So there we go, much, much better. So now we have schools, we have staff members, we have students as well. Now we need to be able to add classes as well. So if I click on classes, I should have a list of classes that exist here. But at the same time, uh, if I click on a school to view details here on the school, I should be able to tell uh, what classes are in that particular school. It should have all that information for the super admins to know. So right before we go to switch to here, we might want to add view details or something. I'm not really sure. Maybe we can add a button here at the very end to avoid um, possibly clicking on the delete. Uh, yeah, not really sure. Maybe let's add something here at the beginning. So I'm going to go to... Let's just add the buttons, then we can do other things later. Just as a reminder, right? So let's go to schools view. Uh, right here, I will add one more of this. I'll duplicate that and just uh, remove the text from it. And yeah, that row ends here. And then another one starts right there. So on this one, I want to add, so let me step everything below that threshold. Table data like this. And here I will add a button. So button, and I will just put some font awesome in there. I'll just say class FA, FA, Chevron, right? Just like that. And let's put some classes to the button. So it's going to be button, button small, button primary. That should do. Refresh, and there we go. So this way, at least, I can click on the screen to view details. If you want, you can type view details or something. Maybe that would be much better to remember. Uh, if you would want to do that, you can do it right here. Details, but uh, I don't think that's as appealing as leaving it empty like this. Details. Boom. Or if you prefer, you can add these buttons over there. But I prefer it like this. That way we are far as far as possible from the delete button, just because we want to view a particular school. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we'll look at how to create classes. Since we have students now, we can add them to a class. That way they can do they can take tests and all that good stuff. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.